Scientists are now discovering that some of us possess a heightened biological defense mechanism, resulting in a more emotionally sensitive, more stress-reactive heart. In Scotland, a long-term population study into the psychological, social, and biological determinants of ill health has finally discovered why. Chronic diseases are largely a disease of deprived communities, whether you're in the United States or in Europe or in the UK or in Glasgow. An expert in vascular biochemistry, Professor Chris Packard is the study's chief investigator. He has focused on an important social pattern. Where our professors and retired bankers live, stroke and heart disease is almost unknown. Those in the poorer areas die 20 years earlier than those in the more affluent areas, and the main cause of death is coronary heart disease. And although it's a country famous for an artery-clogging diet, it has little to do with the chip, the pint, or the smoke. In the second half of the 20th century, Scotland experienced tragic economic and social upheaval. Statistically, this is when their heart problems began. The rise in heart disease in the 1950s is strongly associated to the change in socioeconomic um, patterns in society. The 1950s, particularly in West Central Scotland, heavy industry collapsed and the people that were left were unskilled, um, no hope of employment, uh, living in communities that gradually deteriorated in quality of life and so on. So that for 50, 60 years we've had communities that have been living with hopelessness. What we're looking at is that there might be a common cause to not only heart disease, but also to a negative mental aspect. The study is now testing this hypothesis, that heart disease could be caused by the unhappy emotional experience of growing up in poverty. When we were designing the study, uh, we said to ourselves, what we need to do is to recruit from the affluent and deprived parts of town about 300, 350 people, which would be enough to test things like how much vascular disease did they have in their carotid arteries, uh, what were their bloods like, uh, did they have high levels of inflammatory factors, also the psychological profile, can you make sense of the world around you? Do things distress you and therefore do you have a, a super response to distressing elements or do you deal with it quite calmly? The data gathered so far is strong enough to draw some early conclusions. The pathology goes bad early life experiences or adverse conditions. As an adult you have a more aggressive inflammatory condition in your body and that manifests itself as heart disease. A whole generation of Scots has been born into deprived, stressful, even dangerous conditions. Their inflammatory defense mechanisms have been activated early and have stayed active. It has hurt their hearts deeply. Chaotic circumstances, difficult families, seems to send signals to babies' brains to suggest that, well, the world is a slightly dangerous place out there, therefore you need to enlarge the centers of the brain that are associated with the stress response. Scotland's long-term population studies, combined with advances in psychobiology, are redefining core beliefs about the human heart. That at the very least, it is an organ sensitive and reactive to our emotions. One that, in a sense, has feelings. <laughs> 